Dr. David Kimbrough, and Dr. Randall Hughes work to unlock the secrets of the inner tidal zone, where the land meets the sea. The thing about science is, it's not all done at the lab. Sometimes you have to go out and get your data, no matter where it is. In July, the WFSU Sci Girls headed over to the FSU Coastal and Marine Lab for a day with Dr. Randall Hughes. Their first activity was an experiment in a controlled environment called a mesocosm. Sometimes, however, the best data is found in the field. Yeah, me too. Feels like you have an extra few pounds on your shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. And then when you step in, it's oh, really hard to get your shoe out sometimes. So no, you it's almost it. like a band. One of the things I tend to forget when I bring people out in the field with me is that not everyone is used to walking through a marsh or walking through mud, and so it can be a bit intimidating at first when you're slipping and sliding so this is as dirty as and losing your shoes. The Sci Girls are split about either not being bothered by the water or definitely wanting to stay dry. One girl liked it out here so much that she might have changed her career plans. I did want to study genetics and DNA, and now I want to do marine genetics because I love to be in the water and the ocean and everything. I think I was a little surprised that you know I could get paid as a career to sort of hang out in the marsh, hang out on an oyster reef, get really filthy dirty um, on a daily basis, and, and so that part is pretty fun. In the Grass on the Reef is funded by the National Science Foundation, 